Today I'm reviewing the two basic blocks of a proper home office, a decent hard-working desk and an ergonomic chair for all those long hours of sitting. For the desk, there's the Everdesk Max, which is an adjustable setting desk. What's unique about this is that it's paired with the health coach controller by the side so that not only lets you adjust height levels, but also allows you to set regular reminders of when to stand up. This desk we are reviewing is the older version and doesn't come with the standard unit groove, which is Everdesk's cable management version of the conventional grommet hole you often see in office desk. They also have various sizes and I have the largest one which measures 160cm by 70cm. You can also choose to add in a bunch of accessories and I've gone with casters which are great for moving it around and whenever you want to change your scenery. The casters offer a pretty smooth glide and can be locked in place for greater stability. I've also gone with the pack board with accessories bundle, it has shelves, knobs and hooks for organising stationery and other knickknacks. It's useful for preventing desk clutter although I think it feels a bit flimsy. I also opted for the cable tray, which is located on a table for cable management, though it's not exactly managing my cables. And I also went with the basic laptop stand. What I like about the Everdesk Max is that it has a really nice feel. It looks well made and there aren't any obvious joints or sharp edges with the sides smooth and all curves. According to Everdesk, the material for the black tabletop is a high compression fibre core with heavy duty vinyl wrap. It does scratch a bit easily so you'll want to be careful. It all feels well built and sturdy with not a lot of movement for the work that I do on a table. It also feels pretty sturdy even when shaking it. Thanks to the dual motors located at the steel frame, moving the dent up and down is relatively quick and it wasn't overly noisy. With a health coach controller, you're able to set regular reminders at intervals between 15 minutes to an hour that will prompt you to change things up and switch to a standing desk. It emits a soft buzz when it comes time to stand, which doesn't feel overly anxious. Everyone knows about the health benefits of not sitting for too long, but not a lot of us actually fall through with that habit of standing up at regular intervals, so this reminder has been helpful. Besides these functions, you can also save your favourite height level so it's easier to get to them faster without having to manually adjust them each time. It's auto lock by default so young fingers won't go around pressing buttons unnecessarily but you can turn off the auto lock if you don't need it. The main complaint I have is that touch controls lack a bit of sensitivity. Some functions that required pressing and holding for a few seconds were particularly frustrating to do because it wasn't very sensitive, so I had to do it a few more times before I could get it to work. Next up, the ergonomic chair. What I have here is the Ergotune Supreme V3. I got it in medium size, which is suitable for folks who are between 160cm tall to 180cm tall. The seat is wide, so if you have the habit of crossing your legs on your chair, there's even room to do so. Although, ergonomically speaking, it's probably not wise to do so for long periods of time. It looks just like any other ergonomic chair if I'm being honest, nothing to shout about, but it's quite sturdy and the support is decent. There are a number of adjustment points you can make. You can adjust the height of your seat, the recline position and the seat depth. The headrest can also be adjusted so that your neck can rest comfortably. It also helps to prevent you from leaning too close to the screen when working, which I have the tendency to do after a while. You can also tweak the height of the backrest itself to find the best lumbar support. I like this since it helped elevate any back aches I used to have while sitting down for long periods of time. The armrest can also be fiddle around with. You move it up or down and back and forth and have it flush with your desk for better support. One of the best things about the armrest is that it can be folded inwards completely, so even if I'm just reading or on my phone, I can get that arm and elbow support. It does take a while to tweak everything to your liking, and even then you will likely continue making adjustments along the way as you figure out your favourite working posture. With ergonomic chairs, it also takes a while to get used to it, particularly if you've always been having bad posture. What's helpful is that the Ergotune has the guidebook on what the proper ergonomic position should be, depending on what you're doing, so that has been helpful. The one thing I didn't quite like about the chair is the fabric. It's made of this Dura Weave hybrid mesh, which is a blend of fabric and polyester. It's meant to be breathable, and while it definitely is, it's not the softest on your skin, so it does get a bit scratchy. 
Overall though, I'm quite satisfied with this home office setup with the Avides Max and the Ergo Jeep Supreme having been at it for a couple of weeks. And it's made working from home a lot more comfortable and productive. While they aren't absolute essentials, they have made it really convenient to stand up from my desk regularly and to maintain vesture posture while sitting. The Avidas Max and Ergotune Supreme are also having substantial discounts just for Christmas, so do head on to their website's links in the description for more details. For a more extensive review, visit our website at www.renonation.sg.